In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to carry out a randomization test for a single proportion using stat key. And the example we'll talk about is example 4.125 in the lock 5 textbook. And what they're talking about there is they flipped a coin 150 times and obtained 90 heads for a sample proportion of 0.6. And what they want to do is test whether or not this provides evidence that the coin is biased based on a randomization distribution. So we're working with a single proportion, so we'll come over here to the randomization hypothesis test column and click on test for a single proportion. And now we have this screen. So we have our original sample here, which is incorrect right now. We still have to edit the data uh, before we go. So let's do that now. We'll edit the data. We said we had 150 tosses of this coin and 90 appeared heads so count is the number of successes or heads here out of 150 coin tosses we click OK and we see now our original sample is reflective of our actual situation now in it may be interesting to change this null hypothesis but we're trying to test whether or not the coin is biased and if it, the coin is not biased then we'd expect it uh, to land heads with or the sample proportion of heads to be 0.5, right? Land heads with a um, probability of 0.5, or 50% chance of landing heads. Uh, and so now we're ready to go. So we can generate one sample. Just think about that as tossing a coin 150 times and seeing what happens when we know the coin's fair. And what we see is that we got 83 heads out of 150 for a sample proportion of 0.55, and the dot has been put in the dot plot. If we generate one more sample, what you'll see is now we have 81 out of 150 for our sample proportion of 0.54 uh, and we can keep going generating one sample at a time and you see that the randomization sample changes and it's just like flipping a coin 150 times and observing what happens. Now instead of doing this one at a time we can generate thousands of samples at a time so let's generate just over 3,000 samples here so we have a randomization distribution rather filled out and now we need to think about what our alternative hypothesis is the null hypothesis is that the coin is not biased the alternative is contradicting that null hypothesis and we really just want to determine if it is biased we're not saying whether or not it's biased heads or biased towards tails so this would be an example of a two-tail alternative hypothesis. So if we click the two tail option in the top left of the dot plot, what we'll see is that we start to get these tails shaded on the randomization distribution. Now what we want to do is go match what we've observed with this randomization distribution. So what we actually observed was a proportion of 0.6. So down here on the x-axis we'll click on 0.58 and change that to 0.6. We'll press OK. And now what's happened is that uh, both tails have changed and we can calculate a p-value this way. So the areas outside are further away uh, than this are both 0 0.009, so our p-value would be 2 times 0 0.009. Uh, and using that p-value we could draw a conclusion.